Over the last few years, I've had the distinct honor to go into the prison and preach God's word. But if I'm honest with you, when I first went into the prison, I was nervous. I was nervous about preaching in a maximum security prison. But then those nerves went away as I stood in a room listening to 250 men worship God with their voices raised and their arms stretched out. It was a beautiful moment that I will never forget. Since that time, I've been impressed with how the inmates at Polunsky Prison do not simply desire just to get together for a worship service, but they truly desire to be the church. They have church leadership, church training, and they even seek to practice church discipline as they seek to be the people of God. The prison chapel at Polunsky here in Livingston holds 75 people. That's 75 people for a prison that houses thousands of inmates. Because of this lack of space over the years, they have had to turn people away from being able to participate in church services. As well, the church was forced to begin having services in the gymnasium and having multiple services throughout the week just to accommodate the amount of men wanting to worship. A while ago, a bunch of people who are heavily invested in the ministry of the prison got together to begin to discuss the possibilities of building a chapel in the prison, a chapel that would be able to hold enough men so that no one would ever have to be turned away from church again. To our surprise, the warden was extremely supportive of the idea, and from that meeting, AIM was born. AIM stands for Advancing Inmate Ministry and is a 501c3 that exists for the purpose of building a chapel at Polunsky Prison in Livingston, Texas. Over the last several months, under the leadership of the board president, Brian Dorsey, AIM has gotten all the plans approved through the state of Texas to begin fundraising to build a chapel that will hold up to 850 inmates. I want to ask you to please pray how the Lord may use you to be a part of this exciting opportunity to impact the kingdom of God for generations to come. You can find more information about AIM at their website or Facebook page. Please be praying for what the Lord is doing there at Polunsky Prison. Much of what goes on in that prison affects our community as the prison is one of the largest employers in the county. So please pray for what God is doing there what God is doing there affects what God is doing here.